Hey, this is Max. I am here with another CSR2 video. This time, I am making a video for the very, very beginners uh, who needs to get keys so they can pull some good cars. What you should do is build a tier 1 bot hunting car like this uh, Toyota 86. The way to set these cars up to do this is you only upgrade tire trans and nitrous. You do want to try to get some fusions in there because it would help you have a, a faster car and if it's too slow it's not going to be able to beat the bots. So you want to have enough fusions to be, at least be able to get through uh, beating the bots and you can get fusions by buying uh, Toyota 86s from the dealership and stripping them. Now to tune this car the trick here is you're basically detuning the car into a negative 900 range Evo uh, by lowering the final gear until only the second gear essentially hits your top speed in the quarter mile. So, tire does not need to go too low. You just need the tire to be low enough to get to like a 999, less than 999, or very close to it. That'll give you a 16.179. <coughs> as far as the dyno time goes and what it allows you to do is get into a bot lobby most of the time or you'll be in a lobby with very few players and a few bots let me show you how that works you want bots because bots are easy to beat and they never refuse and they connect even though you can't connect to live players so for a new player trying to get keys this is one of the quickest and easiest way to do it. You cannot launch the car perfect. You want to launch it late, hit that nitrous, ride out the first gear. Once you see the needle move, put it to second gear. And then basically, you're done racing against the bot in this tier. This does not make money, and neither does this give you much RP. What it does give is a quick way for you to get your 30 races in to get your keys and that is very important for beginning players to build up your key collection and then try to pull during the pc times 10. now you don't race the same bot twice because it lowers your rp there'll be a whole room full of them you just race one after the other and get through quickly that way again as i can show you the car will beat dino substantially because it's down tuned in the negative evo setup but with a tier one it's almost guaranteed to be so slow that you won't run into other players as much. In higher tiers, doing this can still put you in a lower lobby where you're still running into live players and not the bots. This is really for the very beginning players who doesn't have access to a ton of cars, and you may only have a tier one car to play with, but you want your keys. I used this strategy when I started to build up my account quickly with a collection of keys, then I pulled the keys during the PC Cups, uh, the PC times 10 uh, every season, and that's how you build up a nice collection of cars relatively quickly. You can get 20 silver keys pretty fast with using this strategy. And yes, this car will be eventually bumped out of contention in live against real players, but bots never get faster, so you always uh, will run into the bots that you can beat. And this is your easy access way to get a new account uh, built up on keys. Again, without keys, you can't get far in this game. So you need to start doing this early, early in the game. Uh, it'll give you a nice head start. By the time you're level 60s, you'll have enough keys and enough key pulls to hopefully have some cars of each tier. Again, 20 silver keys a day. Uh, adds up pretty quickly over the span of a season or two and you also have all your keys from your calendar you have your keys that you get from your daily battles and also the various trials so this is just a kind of a beginner advice video i have a friend who is now playing uh, i'm kind of making this video more for his benefit than anyone else's but i think it's a good video for beginners to know because this is a trick to get your keys fast without having to deal with live players and the stress of fighting them for uh, possibly also losing against them to try to build up your keys so 
give it a shot. Uh, give me some feedback on what your feelings are when you try this. Again, advanced players don't need to do this. You have other options to get your keys. This is really for the very beginning players, the first 20, 30 levels, when you really don't have access to many cards. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And uh, certainly feel free to leave comments. And please subscribe to the channel. I always try to come up with new and interesting things that will help players out and I'll be making videos and posting them. Oh, as always, uh, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.